And today we're going to be going out in this helicopter to learn how they combat mosquitoes in the Florida Keys. Here we go. Yeah. Pick up some serious speed. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're, we're pretty, pretty low to the trees right now. This is awesome. <laughs> What's going on Coyote Pack? Today we are on location in the Florida Keys working with mosquito control. And behind me here is the hangar where they keep all the helicopters. And today we're going to be going out in this helicopter to learn how they combat mosquitoes in the Florida Keys. These guys are top notch and they're the ones that we have to thank for the control of mosquitoes as they're seeping into the United States from other places, quite possibly spreading very dangerous diseases. It is officially time for us to head up into the air in today's helicopter. Now this machine is an Airbus H125, an absolutely beautiful helicopter. One thing you might be wondering is, Coyote, how much does a machine like this cost? This thing, $3.7 million. What we're gonna do is fly a couple of rounds to simulate exactly what it is that they do when dusting for mosquitoes. You guys excited? Very excited. Okay, so heading up in the chopper with me today is the lovely Christina. Say hi, Christina. Hey guys. Are you excited to head up there in the chopper? So excited. And tell us what is it that you've done in the past here with Mosquito Control? Here at Mosquito Control, I was a field inspector. So I was the gal out in the field looking for the mosquitoes themselves and letting our helicopter team know where to go. And it's just been an absolute blast. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Now, Chris, yeah. you're gonna be the one running main camera today. That is right. Capturing audio inside a helicopter is not necessarily the easiest thing, but we're <laughs> gonna work it out. And I have a feeling that uh, if anybody can do it, Captain Chris Cost can do it. Yar. Yar. <laughs> so Paul, if you had to guess, how many missions have you flown with mosquito control? This first one. Yeah, what's today, Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> uh, typically, each pilot flies about 400 hours a year. Wow. On a busy day, each pilot will do about eight to a thousand acres worth of, uh, worth of product. Does it ever get boring? Absolutely not. I can't imagine there is any job better than getting to fly a helicopter every single day. Flying a helicopter low level. Typically we fly between uh, 75 and 100 feet. Wow. And that's considered low flight. That is extremely low flight. Okay. Yes. The normal helicopter uh, pilots taught to fly about 500 feet and above. And you've never let Christina fly before, have you? Me? Actually pilot. <laughs> you've ridden, but you haven't actually- Not yet. Oh, Not you're, yet. you're pilot Not today? Not yet. Soon though. Soon. Maybe today. There's a handle right back here. Okay. And there's actually more on it. Oh, this is awesome. I feel like I'm going to be in the new Top Gun movie. <laughs> I know you got the camera right there. Check, 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 Weed valve, three dot page, no messages, no messages, and we're above 22 volts. This is awesome. We got uh, audio rolling here, Marie Willard and the team. Here we go. How's that shrimp feeling, Coyote? Sure feels great. She's digested. Shrimp's <laughs> feeling good. You ready? Ready. Ready. You ready? Copy. Ready to back? Perfect. I'm going to put her in. Of course, I'm wearing that. Here we go. Yeah. Lift off. Pick up some serious speed. Copy that, Kay. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll stay about 500 feet until we get over the spray area. I'll do a couple of orbits just so you guys can see the actual area, and then we'll dip down to about 75 to 100 feet and just simulate a couple spray runs for you. Okay, great. Is that dark area out there in the distance where we're going? Correct. Awesome. Okay, so right now we're headed out towards this red mangrove area. You can see how little human habitation is here, but that is the perfect spot for mosquitoes to be 
growing and ultimately getting ready to cause a problem. So this is the perfect area as an example of where they would be dropping a payload. It's really cool to see it from this aerial perspective. It's some seriously remote wilderness right here. So what typically happens is the inspectors go out on the ground and they'll find the areas that are um, prone to mosquito breeding. Okay. And when they feel that it's necessary for us to go out, then they'll specifically tell us which areas to spray. Now we have gone out there and found other pockets when the inspectors say, hey, I can't physically get to this area. Can you see if it's, if it's worth going to? So I'm at 500 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and dip down here. We'll go down to about 100 feet. And okay. We'll, uh, we'll do a spray run here. All right, so we're going to simulate a spray run right now. You'll see how low it is that we actually get to the environment. So right here, we're inside the spray area. We'd be uh, spraying right now, actually dispensing product. Got it. Yeah, we're, we're pretty, pretty low to the trees right now. This is <laughs> awesome. Now, when you say spray, Paul, it's actually ground up corn cob that has a bacteria on it, correct? So it has no impact on anything environmentally other than the mosquito larva. Correct. And it only lasts a couple hours inside the environment. Wow. We're going to do a, a reverse 180 turn here. Sweet. Whoa. That is a cool perspective. we got to be a little tight on the turns because our next line is only 70 feet from what we were actually spraying. Okay. And when you're dropping this mixture of shredded corn cob and bacteria, how much do you drop in a certain run, like weight-wise? We spray out seven and a half pounds per acre. Wow, it's that calculable. Correct. If this helicopter has a flow controller on it, so the faster we go, the faster the boulders and the hoppers will actually go, making sure we're getting the correct amount coming out. So how fast are we traveling right now? Right now we're doing about 90 miles an hour. Wow, it doesn't seem like we're going at that speed. Just the, the smoothness of the helicopter is really pretty incredible. drop, what is the mechanism that you use to disperse the product? Sure, we got a whole bunch of buttons on the cyclic here. Uh-huh. One of them actually turns the blowers on the hoppers, and then one will turn the rollers. So the blowers stay on, and all that's going to do is when the rollers start going and dropping the actual product into the ejector chute, it kind of helps it push it out. So that gives us a 70-foot swamp. Okay. So they're not for firing missiles? Correct. I'm definitely going to be uh, finding out whether or not we can get an Airbus sponsorship because I feel like I definitely need a helicopter. <laughs> How long did it take you to get your helicopter pilot license? Sure, minimum I want to say is about 60 hours now, but um, okay. I'm up to about just over 3,000 hours of flight time. Wow. And I think all of our pilots are about the same. Uh, this is not your typical entry level pilot job, and that's just because there's so much stuff going on. You have to be extremely familiar with the helicopter, comfortable with the helicopter, and then on top of that, all the spray equipment. Got it. Attached to it. Coming in for our landing. All right, we are down. All right. If you want to see what happens when mosquitoes are out of control, Make sure to go watch The Extreme Experiment, where I am eaten alive by 1,000 of these bloodthirsty monsters. And big thanks to the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District for their support with these episodes.